Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be all about this question that I get asked in the storefront a lot, and that is, how do I fill this fountain pen? <laughs> so I get to interact with a lot of people where it's their first time using a fountain pen, but also some people who are just trying to branch out and explore different ways of using their fountain pen. So there's one way of filling a fountain pen that you might already be familiar with. You may already be familiar with the cartridge mechanism of filling a fountain pen. And that is this disposable little plastic cartridge. It doesn't have any like moving parts to it. There's ink inside. You push it in to pop the seal here. And then when the ink runs out, you toss it out. It's disposable and you can pop in a new one. So most fountain pen companies will give you a cartridge to start out with in your fountain pen when you get it. Usually just like a black or a blue one, very simple one. And then that's it. So you might be familiar with the cartridge way of filling a fountain pen, but you might also be familiar with the fact that these cartridges don't give you a lot of color options for your fountain pen ink. So if you're trying to branch out and find other like fun fountain pen ink colors to fill your pen with, you might need something called a converter. And a converter is a refillable mechanism that I'm going to be walking you through today. So let's jump right in to seeing how to fill these different types of converters. Okay, so the first one that I have here, this is my Sailor fountain pen, and it has the most common type of fountain pen converter inside, this is the piston converter. So this piston converter mechanism has a twist knob here on the end. You can see when I twist it, it moves the piston on the inside up and down. So I'm going to, the ink I have in here right now is Harahara by Sailor Shikiori. And so once you have a converter, Yours will probably come empty, so I'm just going to twist it. What is this? Counterclockwise? Yeah. When I twist it counterclockwise, you can see that this ink starts coming out of the nib here. And you can also see that the piston is going down. So normally, when you first get the converter, it will be empty and you can pop it into your fountain pen just like you would the cartridge. It just pushes right in and then you'll see you might have to twist the piston down so that it goes all the way down because you're about to fill it and suck the ink up. So to fill it, you submerge the nib below the ink level like this, you can kind of see it there. And then to fill the pen, I'm trying to avoid <laughs> covering this up so you can see it, but to fill it, you will twist the opposite direction of what you just did. And now this clockwise motion will raise the ink inside the pen and you have your piston converter filled just like that. And since all of the ink is going in through the nib here, you'll want to wipe the pen off afterwards. And make sure you wipe the section here, this part, because if ink is on there, it will get all over your hands. And there you go. Now it is filled. Then you can screw the body of your pen back on just like that. Very good. So the piston converter, particularly the twist piston converter, is the most common type of converter that you'll run into with most fountain pens. I have a Lamy that takes a converter like that. I have, you know, many different pens that will take that kind of converter, but it is not to be confused with another type of piston converter, the plunger piston. So I'm gonna show you that right now. So I have my Kaveco fountain pen here. I'm gonna just take off the body. I already unscrewed it. 
And this is also another type of piston converter. You can see this part here on the end is sticking out quite a bit, a little bit more than the twist piston converter. And that's because this is a plunger. So you can see when I move this like this, when I push down the piston, it is pushing the ink rather than using a turning mechanism to push the ink. So this one is very, very simple to fill. We have Sailor Manya Neko Yanagi in here. And so to fill this, Again, normally when you are first filling this fountain pen, the converter will be empty. So I'm just going to push out to empty the ink out of the pen. Then I will submerge the nib like so. You will just pull up like that. And it's a very, very simple mechanism to fill this pen. A question I get asked a lot with this pen or type of converter, the piston plunger converter, is, is the piston supposed to move down as the ink level goes down? And no, it will probably stay up and elevated the whole time if your piston keeps falling. Hello? Maybe, maybe look into it a little. <laughs> I don't have much experience with that, but um, no, it will not move down as the ink level goes down. So that is the piston plunger converter, not to be confused with the piston twist converter. And this one is usually used, I've seen it in Kaveco, but it's usually used for a smaller type of fountain pen because it's so tiny. Okay, so those were the piston converters, probably the most common types of converters that you'll run into when you're trying to upgrade and maximize your fountain pen. But there's also the push converter or the pump filling converter. And I will show you how to fill that one now. Okay, so here I have a Pilot Custom 743, and I chose this one because it has a well-known pump converter, and this one is the Con 70 by Pilot. So, so I have the black ink here that this is filled with, and like the name suggests, it uses a pump mechanism to fill the pen. So you can see there's this little place right here at the top to push and expel the ink like that. And then to fill the pen, it is equally as simple. What you do is you dip your pen in and then you just pump like that and you will see the ink level start to rise. This one is pretty fun because you can actually continuously pump it like this to keep getting more ink inside of your converter. Unlike other ones where if you keep doing the mechanism, you're probably not gonna get much more ink filling inside. But this one, if you keep pumping it while the nib is submerged inside the ink, it will just keep filling. It will just keep getting more and more full. And you can see this one creates a lot of air bubbles in the ink, which some people don't like because it can disrupt their ink flow down to the nib. So you might just wanna give it a little chance to settle in there. But this one can hold a lot of ink in particular. You might also see some converters with the pump knob at the end have a spring inside or a spring outside to help with that, you know, kind of pump trigger mechanism. I've also seen this kind of mechanism called a button push filling converter or a button um, filling piston. There, this one's called a lot of different types, but it is a pump converter. So now onto the last type of converter mechanism. This is the squeeze converter. I'd say this one is a little bit less common, but I have seen it in quite a few pens. So I'll show you how to fill it, even though it is a little less common. So this one is the squeeze converter. I haven't seen this in too many pens myself, but like this one, the Metropolitan, the Pilot Metropolitan, it comes with a squeeze converter already in the pen, unlike most pens that come with a cartridge with the pen. So this one, if this is your first time filling it, I will show you, it's pretty straightforward. This rubber part here, it's like a medicine dropper. You, you just, you know, squeeze it and that activates the filling mechanism. So if I squeeze it right now, I'll shoot a bunch of ink out. Like that, you can see it all coming out like that. And then you 
can submerge the nib and while it's squeezed, you submerge the nib and then release and that will fill the pan. Unfortunately, one thing about the squeeze converter that some people dislike is you cannot see how much ink is inside here, especially with this squeeze converter in particular that's made by Pilot. There used to be one made by Kaveco that was clear so you could see how much ink you had in, but that is a downside to some of these squeeze converters is they're not clear like some of the other ones that have the twist or pump mechanism. All right, that is it for these converter mechanisms and showing you how to fill them. I hope that maybe this helps you upgrade your fountain pen or find a new way of using it. It is a really, it's really a like door to the new world of fountain pen inks. You can explore a lot of different colors with these converters. All you have to do between switching out the colors is wash it with water, make sure that the water is running clear, and then you can, you know, switch up your ink color with whatever you like. And this is like a great way to, you know, maximize the use of your fountain pen. Another question I get a lot that I just remembered is, is it messy? Because a lot of people like the cartridges because, you know, they're just, you know, pop in and out, no mess. You don't have to deal with bottles of ink or anything, but I'll show you my hands right now. And this is how much ink I got on them after filling four different pens. It's really not that bad. This comes out with dish soap and, and water or even regular hand soap if you're quick about it. But this is also because I was trying to maximize the uh, camera viewing experience for you all. But usually when I fill my pens, I maybe have like one stray drop of ink here. And um, I've been filling my pens for like quite a few years, so maybe there is an experience level to it. But I don't think once you've filled a pen for, for a handful of times, it is too hard to get the hang of and make it a mess-free situation. So I think Using a converter with your fountain pen is a great way to upgrade your fountain pen and just have a lot of fun with it and explore a lot of different fountain pen inks. I hope this video was helpful. If you'd like to see more ways of filling fountain pens because there is way more out there. There are some vintage filling mechanisms. There's filling mechanisms that are built into the pen. They're not even a converter anymore. They're just in the body of the pen. If you'd like to see a video like that, comment down below and I'll see if we can get to it. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.